a bit of a labor-intensive job because we're trying to push it through a very small cut. I don't think she needs it. There are some marks that we've made of where we want the pocket to be, where the midline is, uh, where our um, cut's going to be, where this scar's going to be hidden under her breast. Surgery seekers, why are you thinking about getting this procedure? Um, I'm just unhappy with my boobs at the minute, so why not change them? You make it sound so easy. Why not change them? <laughs> I'm not necessarily just unhappy about the boobs I have. I don't have any. I'm 24 and I still have the same chest I had when I was 16, so oh, really? it's like, what's happened there? So I'm sick of wearing padded bras and having to be very selective about the things I wear. And so I just feel like breast augmentation surgery will make me feel a lot more confident. With me, I've always kind of wanted one done from like teen years, when all my friends were starting to hit puberty and things and their boobs were getting bigger, mine just seemed to stay the same size. So yeah, so I've kind of always known that it was something I was going to consider in future. When did you start thinking about having a boob job? Um, I sort of thought about it about a year ago. I sort of looked into it, like, sort of through social media and stuff about having, like, a boob augmentation, just because you see a lot of people on social media and sort of with big boobs, it's kind of the body type that's sort of idolised in our generation. There isn't anything I like about my breasts at the moment. One breast is bigger than the other. They sit funny. They have no tissue in the top half. The areola size is far too big and the nipple size is really small. They're just very ugly looking, I, I would say. We make a cut through the skin and in Sophie's case, we're going to be placing her implant underneath her breast tissue. That's not gonna be sick. What we're trying to do is to make sure that the scars are hidden, so it's a small scar underneath. And we go through into the pocket, into the right anatomical position. So with Sophie, we want to be above her muscle, but under her breast tissue. That light where he's just put on a light and you can see through it, it's like a tunnel. It is quite disgusting, to be honest. Yeah. I did go a bit, oh, I had to look away a couple of times. It's all the yellow bit. I love it. <laughs> really? I actually love it. I've just booked me in the now. <laughs> it's sort of strange that, like, you fully have to, like, open up your whole body and, like, all that gunk and stuff just in there. It's not put me off completely, but it's just sort of... You don't really think about that. I've developed the pocket here underneath. We've washed with some betadine, betadine so some antiseptic solution to make sure we minimise the risks of any uh, germs or infections. So if I can show you with my fingers, you can see this is as far as we've dissected out. So under the breast tissue, we've got this pocket all the way to outside. So we've got our pocket. So you can see this is the implant. It's covered with betadine solution and the pocket is all nice and clean. And this um, area of the skin has been cleaned with betadine too. We, so now we're gonna put the implant in. Don't and putting the implant in is quite a, um, a uh, bit of a bit of a labor intensive job because we're trying to push it through a very small cut so that the patients don't have scars that's going to be visible so just lifting the breast tissue up and we gently advance the implant into the pocket that we've created i didn't realize how aggressive it kind of is and like you have to literally scrape a hole out under my boob i didn't know that i was a bit squeamish when obviously like they made the incision and stuff because i didn't realize like how big the actual cut was going to be but like when he just popped in like the implant it's like a nice little boob it's amazing that your skin is just like that tough and now there's just a little a little cut there so i was quite pleasantly surprised he just like pushed that on with his finger and then it just went pop and it so was you on. thought that was quite kind of just easy really yeah. It didn't look too complex at all. By the volume going in, it's going to stretch the skin. And straight away, it will look a bit unnatural. But because the skin is elastic, over the period of a few months, this will accommodate the implant, it will relax a bit, and uh, she will have the shape that she wants. Um, the recovery process for me has been quite 
pain free and easy really. Any advice it would be to make sure you research, don't jump into anything straight away. I'm so happy with the result. I feel like for some people the pros really outweigh the cons. For me the option to like and not have it done is not really there. I do feel a lot more informed. It's just something that I'd want for like vanity reasons and not sort of because I need it.